darling. You must be the handsome Mr. Dawson. Yes, of course. I am Miranda Lakeview, but you could call me a Lady Miranda. And I see your children are here. Grand, you must be little Grace, is that correct? Of course, look at that beautiful little smile. And you, little man, you must be George. Pleasure. And of course, the beautiful Chloe. Yes, you must be. 16 or 17? Beautiful. What a wonderful family you have here, Mr. Dawson. And there's no Mrs. Dawson, I presume. Oh. Oh dear me, I'm quite sorry. I can't imagine how traumatizing that must have been. Well, of course. I am more than just a housekeeper and a nanny. I'll be here for you, no matter what. If you need anything, just let me know. And, Mr. Dawson, is this the accident that you spoke of in your letters? Oh, of course. Of course. I kept your back injury in mind, and I set up your room downstairs. So if you just take a right down the hallway, it'll be the first door there. And your study. Of course, it's the next door down. And I am afraid there is quite a nasty bit of paperwork for you to fill out. You know, just liability papers. Oh, no bother. And you seem like you're a very busy man, so I won't bother you unless you ring your bell. Of course. Don't worry about the luggage. The children and I will take care of it. Yes. Sure. It would be grand having tea with you later. I'd love to get to know you. But first, I want to get to know your children better. Yes, of course, dear. Pleasure meeting you too. Hmm. All right, children. So, there are some ground rules here that are very important. Safety is very important in every single household. Don't you agree? Of course. And this household is no different. Actually, it's going to be even more strict here. This place is huge, and there are so many places that you could trip and fall and break your sweet little necks. We don't want that happening now, do we? So, rule number one, no running up the stairs. That is for you too. And Chloe, I hope you will help me enforce these rules for the children. Of course, darling. Now, what is rule number one? No running on the stairs. Perfect. Now, rule number two. This applies to every one of you. I command that you do not go outside after dark. Come straight in when you see the sunset. Now, this is very important. This manor has a long, dark history, and many children have gotten lost in the woods. Some were never found, and some were found in pieces. Of course, I never want any of you to meet that fate. Of course not. So, no going out after dark. The forest is very treacherous, even in the daytime. So, if you do decide to venture there, make sure that one of the adults go with you. And the third rule. Upstairs, you'll see you're on the third floor. 
there's a door painted red. I do not want any of you going and trying to open the door. Do you understand? I know children can be quite curious. But this is where your curiosity ends, is at that red door. Do not try to open it, ever. It's very dangerous. Yes, quite a lot of machines in there, you know, you could get your little fingers caught. So do not try going in there. Now listen, children. It's very common for you to hear noises around that are frightening. You might hear whisperings or humming and singing. I like to say that the mansion sings for me sometimes. And I want you to get used to it. So please, do not run around at midnight to my room, crying because you hear tapping noises. You will hear it every night. Now, of course, if you need us to tuck you in. Your sister, Chloe, can definitely do that, can't you, Chloe? I feel that you've had to tuck them in for many nights. Yes, since the tragic loss of your mother, I can see it in your eyes. You have a maturity that most young girls your age do not possess. You two are very little lucky monkeys, you know that. Of course. Now, please leave me and Chloe to discuss things further. Remember, what is the first rule? Good. Second rule. Not after dark. Very good. And the third rule. Do not try to open that door. Save your souls. All right, thank you, children. Now, you too, George. Please be good. Take care of your sister. Watch out for her. Grace, be a good girl. All right. And wait, kids. School starts on Monday. Don't forget. So I hope you haven't forgotten all of your maths. All right. Run along. All right, Chloe. Let's have a little talk, shall we? Now, Chloe, there are many rules that I left out, but of course, they get distracted, I can tell. And I want to make sure that you help me guide them. There is the attic that I did not mention, and I want you to be very careful going there if you decide to. Please, do not put course. Curiosity always kills the cat, doesn't it? There you will find my daughter Faye. She lives in the attic, yes, but she keeps to herself. And she also may be the source of some of the banging at night. She does like to smash her head against the walls. So please be respectful of her, and if the children ask about the attic, some ghost story for them. Thank you. Now please, no questions about Faye. We can talk about it later. For now, I want to talk to you about some basic things, such as sewing. Do you know how to sew, dear? I do quite want to talk about this hideous dress that you are wearing. Oh. Your mother made it. Well, I presume that she didn't know how to sew either. And that you learned from her. Yes, of course. No, no, not at all. I would be happy to help you. And let's make our way into the kitchen, darling. Yes, follow me. 
As you can see, darling, the kitchen is quite the mess, as it always is, sadly. But as fast as we hire chefs, they leave like that. So, I thought that it would be a wonderful idea to teach you how to cook. Yes, of course, if I cooked all the meals, then I wouldn't have time to look over everything else in the house now. You could call it free labor, but it's more like taking care of your family, like you seem to do very well. So you see, there are pots on the stove, and there are very many spices in the cabinets. Of course, Mrs. Belmont. I knew her quite well, actually, before her untimely death. She cooked a lot in this beautiful place, and left all of her recipes scattered around. So, if you are so lucky to find any, do take a note and learn from them. Yes, she made the best shepherd's pie I've ever tasted in my life. The Belmonts? Oh, you're curious about them, of course, as are most of the residents that come here. Well, what I can say about them is they were quite an odd couple, and their children, well, they were quite wonderful too. But, of course, there's always some type of tragedy that happens in this house, and unfortunately it all started with them. However, the children are quite lovely. Yes, they didn't survive either, of course. But, well, I shouldn't say more, really, please. It brings back some painful memories. However, I can almost feel her presence sometimes. Mrs. Belmont humming through the hallway and her husband tinkering away in his workshop. Now, moving on, child, let's not get distracted here. What do you know to make in the kitchen, of course? Oh dear, who cooks in your family? Did your mother never teach you? Your father? But often too busy, of course. He's, what, a lawyer? Yes, of course, so he must not have time for his precious little children. How sad and unfortunate. I can tell. They all come crying to you. Isn't that right? They come and cry on your shoulders. But whose shoulder do you cry on? Nobody. Do not fear, though, darling. I am here. Of course I'm here for you. Whatever you need, darling. But first, I want you to go and look through this kitchen, clean it up. I'm sure you've washed a dish in your life. And after that, come over to me, and I will talk to you about dusting the place. There are leaves that fall down through the ceiling quite often, especially during this time, and they all must be swept up. However, I often do not have the time to do so, and all the other housekeepers have left. So, if you do not mind joining me in the activity, how about after that we can have tea together? I seriously do not believe that your father will have tea with me, but I believe that you will. Correct, darling. And then after that, you can go and tend to the children, and I'll start to dinner. Of course. But starting tomorrow, you will join me in the kitchen, and we will go through it together, okay? It was grand meeting you, darling. 
Now, I have some business to attend to. If you need me, I'll be in the attic, but please do not bother me. Yes, of course. I will be there, and at three o'clock we shall go and have some tea together. All right, darling. Well, I hear something calling me, and I need to go attend to that now. Yes, of course. Sorry for my haste, I apologize, child. But please, do not worry about sounds or anything you might hear coming from the attic. Yes, toodaloo, darling. Yes, of course.